Sure. I'm Zainab Magdan Ismail. I'm the Executive Vice President for Healthcare Operations and Partnerships at Move-In Analytics. We are a virtual cardiac rehab provider, um, national provider, uh, really looking to just basically improve rates of cardiac rehab, either brick or mortar or virtual, for across the United States. Yeah, so I'm a public health person by nature. That's what I spent my entire career doing. I also, interestingly, took a page and spent some time at a health plan, so I understand how the system works. We've spent a lot of time in public health with the American Heart Association, with so many of our academic institutions, our hospitals, working on the acute piece of care for cardiovascular. So if a patient has a heart attack, we're all rushing to make sure they get to the right hospital, then they get the right treatment. And then when they get discharged, it sort of sort of like falls apart a little bit. And you can see that in the numbers. The percent, like class 1A level of evidence for cardiac rehab, it is a class 1A level of evidence. Um, yet only less than 20% of patients actually go to cardiac rehab. And of that, less than 15% of patients complete the sessions. Part of the reason for that is a lot of things. One, if brick and, for brick and mortar, it's oftentimes not convenient for people to go. So if you don't live near one, it's hard. You have to get someone to drive you. Co-pays are an issue. So how do we, how do we improve access overall? So what we're doing from a virtual um, standpoint is offering an alternate solution for patients. And the goal is to make sure that everyone has access to this care. One of the challenges though from a systems perspective is that we are so used to thinking, oh, it's gonna be really hard for this person to go to rehab. So sometimes we don't make it a point to even talk about it. And what we're really trying to do as a company and working with our departments of health and our heart association partners and all the stakeholders is to uh, educate folks on the fact that this is a, a proven treatment how do we systematically get patients to rehab, be it brick or mortar, be it virtual? There, there now are so many options for them. How do we actually present those options to our patients? Oh, we are 1,000% there. Um, so our company, Move in Analytics, was actually working on this. We've been working on this for nine years. Stanford and Kaiser were doing this in the 80s. They were doing virtual rehab via the telephone. And what we did is we took their entire program and we digitized it and said, you can actually communicate with patients via an app and still talk to them and talk, communicate back and forth. Um, so this was actually in operation before COVID and with the expansion of COVID now, we've got many partners in this space all looking to do this. And there's different models. So some patients may prefer to go part-time to a brick and mortar, spend some time virtual. That's called a hybrid approach. That works. There are patients who only will never go to brick and mortar just because it's inconvenient or they just don't, they're not comfortable, especially in this post-COVID era. They may just want virtual. We're there for them as well. Um, there are patients who are not appropriate. Those are the ones that, you know, you kind of have to be careful about who are not appropriate for virtual. Um, in those cases, we'll work with the brick and mortar and try to come up with something that can, can help the patient. But we are, from a technology standpoint, um, our company, Move in Analytics, provides smart devices that are Wi-Fi enabled, so data is not an issue. If you don't have access to a data plan, we'll loan you a device to use. Um, we oftentimes find that the elder, elderly population post-COVID generally has someone who can help them set up the Zoom call, um, set up the system to actually log their steps. Um, but it's, it's definitely, um, we're there, the time is right. And what we're also finding is that patients who engage in virtual cardiac rehab, we have an 80 to 90% completion rate. Um, for brick and mortar, it's around 15, 20%. Again, not that, not that patients don't want to do it, it's just really difficult. Um, the other thing that we're doing, um, which I think is a, the tide is changing on this, is that because you're virtual, we're allowed to, we're able to scale and offer a more, to, more affordable solution for health plans. So some health plans are doing creative things like waiving copays. Um, because they can absorb those costs because the overall cost of virtual is less than brick and mortar. So um, really changing the landscape for, you know, if we took away copays, if we made it more convenient, if we worked with our clinicians to actually prescribe, uh, write the, prescri the referral for rehab, we can make a big change in this space.